no intention on keeping your word. Yes, I admit that. They were nothing but tools. And what? Isolda to make me work for you! Nameless, I, I swear, it's not true. I only trick these people so that... Oops. You're pathetic, Professor. If it means working for you, then these memories... Are not worth the price. As well, remember that I am the only one who can. I saw how you used Kulisad and the others. I am no idiot to realize that you were using me as well. You are a piece of sh** that I have no regret killing! <laughs> so be it. It doesn't matter anyway. You were all very useful to me in the very end. What are you saying? I am saying that thanks to the few fights that we have just had, Neo Dio has enough energy to awaken! What?! You fool! You are going to liberate Neo Dio after all the warning about him! In order to harness its entire power, I need to fully awaken the creature! This equipment is very highly advanced. It can hold him. That is madness! Stop it! We have to stop him! We can't let him unleash Neo Dio! You're too late! Look, there's a light coming out of the temple. What's going on? We Perna team are definitely in trouble. We cannot waste our time, we must aid them at once. But what about the clones? What about them? Magnificent success! The creature has enough energy to awaken! Now, I must collect its power before- What? Malfunction? Impossible! Looks 
like we are too late. The alien's going to wake up. Damn that, Professor Jones. There is obvious reason why Ignis did not collect much power from the alien, and now this idiot woke it up. My senses are going crazy. This thing's just as powerful as Ignis was. Why? Why? My machine should be strong enough to hold this thing until its entire energy is taken. How can this be happening? You should have realized from day one that all your calculations were wrong. Your own desire to seek immortality blinded you from the truth. All your plans. All the people that you used. Everything you sacrificed. It was all in vain. You were nothing but a tool. I refuse to accept that! That this one weird is. Finally, after all these centuries, the great Neo Deal is liberated. Why is this guy talking in the third person? Is he vain? from you! You are possibly the most idiotic human that the magnificent Neo Dio ever encountered. I am the ultimate being! Even your master was intelligent enough to not make the same mistake you committed. You think that your insignificant science was powerful enough to hold the great Neo Dio? Pathetic! 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 So pathetic! The mere sight of you brings irritation to the grateful eyes of the invincible Neo Dio. You are not even worthy to become my meal. Be gone, you miserable insect. Please, no! I don't want to die! I, I can't! I, ah! No! wonder why Moxa and even Nest took special care regarding this guy. Humans! Hear my words and bow to me! Yes, but he always survived in space as well as many travels in time. It became the absolute perfect energy. The great Neo Dio is capable to destroy any insect in a matter of an instant. 
Still I rediscover on this muddy world something that I believe to have forgotten for so long. The combat. This privilege of the mightiest of creatures that makes the blood of your veins boil and the flesh tremble, even here in this world of insignificant insects. That is why I came to this world in the first place. When I arrived to this planet, I encountered another human who sealed me in hopes to steal my power. And many tries to follow his designs, but they fail pathetically, fearing that I could break free in the process. What are you trying to get at, alien? Many creatures of this planet live for destruction, but none of them are capable to satisfy my desire for combat. Look at me! Look at the great me, or you! I am the image of evolution in its purest form. Through the combats, the weak will always be demolished by the strongest. And the strongest of life forms will dominate all. This. This is evolution. As long as weak insects like you continue to exist, evolution will never step forward. You are all pathetic scum, unworthy to breathe the same air as the grateful Neo Dio. At least you can discover the worth of your existence by becoming my meal. Meal? He really wants to eat us? Well, naturally, he sees us as food! This ultimate living being offers you the glory of becoming Neo Dio's flesh and blood. No thanks. Freak. What are we going to do? We are all in bad shape to fight. We are going to get beaten. We can only hope for a miracle. Stop! I will take care of this arrogant buffoon myself. You people, leave the temple at once! You don't give me orders. I am the only one who can beat him, because I have a special attack that shall be deadly for him. Special attack? <laughs> I was saving it to kill you, but this thing forced me to change my mind. Now stop talking, and leave at once! Hey, I believe we have no choice but to trust him. Let's go! Wait, Nameless. Isolde asked me to give you this message. What? Isolde? Well, I know she is dead, but I will let you judge if it was her or not. She asked me to tell you that she does not regret every moment she spent with you. She chose her path to save the one she loves so you could live in this world you both dream about. She begs you to never forget her, as she will never forget you. I, 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 Isolde. Even in death, you still think of me. Maybe you shouldn't have said that. It might make him lose his focus. I know, but I made a promise. Now go! Thank you very much. Good luck, Nameless. Angel, you go with them as well. But Nameless, you can't. Just do it!
From my prison I saw the level of your power. You are possibly one of the strongest men in this world. Sadly, with that level of power, you won't be able to scratch me. For Neo Dio is the ultimate life being in the universe! You talk too much. Why do you think Nameless wanted to stay behind? You think he's trying to make up for all the problems he's caused? Or maybe he simply wants to die. He suffered too much already. That's why he must take this fight. To determine if he should live or die. It's a choice that he must make. But I have a feeling he already made up his mind whenever he chose to face Neo Dio.